Ferdinand Norona, Mr. Goa, was on seven times, seven occasions. Which years? From 1979, could say until. Uh, 1986. Continuous? Continuous, except for one year where I was in Bombay in 1983-84. Yeah. I was working for Talwalkars. Who? Talwalkars. Talwalkars. Yeah. I was working there as a... What sector? What sector is that? Talwalkars Health Club. Health Club? Yeah. I was uh, the branch manager there. Ferdinand, who was your competition in the bodybuilding in those years? Like we were like, I know, I know there was a uh, sequera. <coughs> I'm talking Jill, Jill, Jill. No, 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 they were not there. Like that was in the school days. Okay. okay. That was in school. The school days, yeah. I first, my first competition was in 1977. Yeah. Where I won uh, Kumar Goa. Kumar Goa. JC's Kumar Goa. It was 1977. Then, then onwards, then I started winning. Mr. Who were your other competitors then? Mesai Tavares was. Mesai Tavares. Yeah. That was the. Uh, then after that, Datta Palleka was. There. Datta Palleka. Hmm. And uh, who else I could say? Ramesh Gadi. Ramesh Gadi. And my brothers, of course, Norman Norona and Anthony Norona. Anthony. Norona. Those days there were very few gyms. No, we were about 18 of us bodybuilders. 18. Yeah. In the full of Goa. In the fall of Goa when we used to have these competitions. But there were very few gyms. Where did you build your body? Well, uh, it was in Duler. Duler there was a small gymnasium where we used to go like, you know, late evening, you know, around 6 o'clock in the evening until 8, I used to uh, work out wow. over there. So long? Yeah, it was about two hours workout every day. Sometimes in the morning also, from 7 to 9 and something. Like, you know, I used to have workout during, like, uh, twice. How did you get involved in bodybuilding? Who introduced you to it? Well, nobody introduced me. That was uh, basically, like, you know, when I used to watch movies of Steve Reeves and all. You know, of who? Steve Reeves. Steve? Steve Reeves. Steve. Her Hercules movies. I see. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Lee was in fashion that time. That was martial arts. Yeah, that was martial arts. Steve Lee uh, was uh, into Hercules movies, you know, he was a bodybuilder, Mr. Universe. Mr. Universe. Yeah, that inspired me to get into bodybuilding. Just by doing physical training, you know, I felt my body was, uh, like, you know, getting into it. Was it, uh, was it easy to get in? Was it costly in those days? It, I, I didn't know the cost factor of it, okay. because, you know, my mother used to bring all sorts of... Uh, we used to have beef, meat and all that. There was no diet plan in the sun. No diet plan? No. Mm. But still you developed a very... Yeah, yeah. It was because I used to burn, burn a lot of fat. I used to get up in the morning at 5 and used to run also. Run? I was a good athlete as well. I was a 100 meters uh, uh, runner. Then subsequently you migrated out of Goa? That was in... Not migrated as such. Okay. I went to... I was in Bombay for one year with Talwalkar. Then when I came down to Goa, I was uh, with uh, Siddharth De Goa for three years. I see. Where I worked as a, as a health club supervisor. And then I got an offer in Abu Dhabi as a health club supervisor. Then subsequently I was promoted to a health club manager. I was I worked there for about 27 years in a health club uh, as a health club manager in one of the Leading resorts in Abu Dhabi. Eating disorder program. Leading, leading resorts in Abu Dhabi. I see leading resorts. Yeah, yeah. How has how has bodybuilding shaped over the years in Goa? Is it better off, worse off? Now, as I see, like you know, I see a lot of bodybuilders. Now, now most of them are into steroids and they have uh, they go into supplements and all that. Like during our time we never went into having supplements or never never supplements is a problem. Supplements is not a problem but you don't know what you're taking. You know I some see. of the bodybuilders they don't understand what is what's your suggestions for youngsters wanting to enter the field? Work hard. You know the you know they think like overnight you can get a body. It took, yeah. it took us quite some time. 
like about six months to one year if you work hard three times a week is more than enough to get into your good shape. Your best memory of the time? My best memory of the time is when I won Mr. Goa. The first, first time? This time. Which year and where? That was in 1979 in Sankeli. Sankeli. Yeah. Were you expecting it? No, I wasn't expecting it. That was uh, like, you know, oh, it's a dream Bonus. come true more than <laughs> what I had expected. And you had a huge fan following in the school, I remember, because I was one of your fans. Really? And no. everyone spoke spoke of, you know, oh, he's Mr. Goa, like kind of no. thing. No? <laughs> yeah, then when I won, uh, then after that, I went for Mr. Bombay University when I was in Xavier's College and all that. In 1980s, I don't remember. Early 80s. Yeah, early 80s could be, yeah. When I won Mr. Bombay University, I was the first student from Goa to win this. Wow. Yeah. How many titles in all? In all, uh, maybe about 10 to 15 titles total in Mr. Goa. And then I won uh, Mr. Uh, I was a silver medalist in Mr. India. Mr. India? Yeah. yeah. And uh, bronze medalist in Pashim Bharat, that is Western India. Then I won a silver medal in, in Mr. India competition in Bangalore in 1986. Then in 1987, I went to UAE. There also I competed where I won a bronze medal in 1990 in Mr. UAE competition. 19 1979 and 1980. Twice I won bronze. That was the end of it. After that I gave up bodybuilding and I switched on to tennis. Tennis? Yeah. You are still into tennis? Well, I used to play a lot of tennis uh, tournaments in Abu Dhabi when I was there. Not Goa? Uh, Goa I haven't played. There I won, uh, in above 40, I won, uh, uh, won the event. In I see. The veterans tour. Wow. Thanks so much. All the very best. I'm not going to write all this. Uh,